Okay, so we're back and I'm going to show you how you do the same thing, the bulk importing with the map function. Okay, so if we forget about this for a second uh, and we'll remove the data as well. Okay, so we've got all our files there. Um, what we might do is make that into a tibble. All files. All right, so there we are. And then what we could do is like the L apply sort of operates upon that vector in isolation. But we could do this. We can go mutate um, data import. That is going to equal, we want it to equal the values of all the data in those, uh, those spreadsheets, those CSV files. Pardon me. So we're going to use this map function. And what are we going to do? So we're going to take the all files column. Let's even just say uh, file names, just to be clear. So that just I'm just making sure that we've got the right uh, column name that is different. So all so we got all the file names separately. And then what are we going to do? We're going to read uh, CSV. And then I like to put dot x because that's what's so it's taking this argument and plonking it here. See, so we go ahead and run that. You can see that it has imported all the files, and it has uh, saved them as a nested uh, data frame inside a tibble. So if I if I just save it, uh, y. Here we go. We can see once it loads, they take a bit longer to load because they're complex. Dum, 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 da, dum, dum, da, dum, dum. There we go. Finally came. So we've got all the data for fair is inside this worksheet, but that's nested inside that table. So we, we really want to unnest as well. So I go Y, that's the complete object, and we can go uh, unnest, unnest dat import. And there we go. So it has expanded it all the way out. We can call that K. Let's just take a quick look at K. So the file names has remained true. And if we scroll down, we can see they do change uh, the premium. So yeah, we know the source of the data and we've got all the data there as well. So quite, quite nifty and also a lot faster than the for loop. Um, if you want, you can use this TikTok, uh, TikTok function. So we've got tick and then later on we got talk. And what you do is you um you put them either side of the of the code you want to run. Well, I should fix that to O. And then you run it. And then at the end of it you get a nice little answer for how fast it was. Now I've deleted all the code. Just remember 24 24 seconds or 0.24 seconds. If we undo it a whole bunch, I'm going to go back to the for loop. Oh, we did lots of yeah. Yep. Uh, no. I think it may have even been a separate worksheet. Ah, uh, that, that could be it, I think. And let's do the tick. Talk. That's what I didn't need this. So let's have a look at how long this takes to run. Less. Ah, it's turned me into a liar. <laughs> but it hasn't appended them, so maybe it's not as not quite as fast. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's a bad example, but anyway, you saw a cool thing. You saw the TikTok. That's good enough. All right, catch up.